Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Official figures reveal Britain's illegal immigrant population is the highest in Europe. European money is to be used to fund the global giant Monsanto. Eau de Toilette? EU says perfume is a health hazard. And the developing partnership between the EU and African Caribbean countries. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the UK could be home to almost 900,000 irregular migrants, expert studies show. The alarming figure is 400,000 more than the second place Italy and means the UK houses nearly one in four of the European Union's unauthorised population. It's important to contrast the difference between illegal and legal. Illegal means the country of origin for the illegal migrant is outside of Europe, as people from member states have the right to live anywhere in the Union. Interestingly, this was reported via the Express Online and is in rather stark contrast to the BBC's attempt to promote the support of Ed Miliband's rather vacuous statement, which the Nightly News reported on last week. Figures in this article are from 2008, and this is a topic that is rapidly becoming a concern. The links are below, as usual. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development is planning to provide support to Monsanto. The bank will provide €30 million Euros to cover unpaid debts from farmers who can no longer meet their obligations to Monsanto. Monsanto provides seeds and crop protection products to these farmers on a pre-finance basis, creating a dependence and lock-in to the company's products. This story highlights the tactics used by large multinationals to leverage the European marketplace. Husbands have been telling their wives for years that their perfume products are killing them. Now, the EU legislators are going to take action. European Union's new laws against allergens could severely curb or ban natural ingredients used in vintage bestsellers and put some perfume makers out of business. Herbal and natural products such as clove oil, rose oil and lavender may only be used in very limited quantities. This legislation also impacts the naturopathic supplement and herbal marketplaces too. Further studies are underway and we'll keep you updated with the implications as this develops. As I reported in response to your YouTube comments earlier this week, the European Union has a clear intent with regard to Africa. We reported back in 2010 the work by the Committee on Development to partner the African, Caribbean and Pacific state countries with the European Union. The ACP countries that have signed the Cotonou Agreement, which is designed to integrate the ACP countries into a world economy. This 2011 report in our legislation section calls for the continued development spending and the parliamentary Assembly has been requested to maintain pressure on EU member states to meet their GNI targets by 2015. You can find both articles on our site if you search for ACP-EU. As always, we'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted. Today in our video library, we report medical workers from all over Spain have been out marching in protest at the European Union's kleptocrat's mandate for austerity. Today's video investigates exactly what's going on. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.